If you want to develop some muscle memory so that you can freely flow in your improvisations and compositions, accent grids are such a good way to do it. So let's dive right in and practice some. Okay, so a quick introduction to accent grids. The idea is we count from one to four like this. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. For the first four beats, we accent on the one. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. For the next set of four beats, we accent on the E, one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. The next on the and, one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. And the next, you guessed it, on the uh, one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. So every time around, we're shifting where we're playing the ding by one subdivision, right? One, then E, then and, then uh. After that, we half that concept, so instead of doing it four times round, we do it two before we shift over where the accent is. Play that all the way around twice. Then we half it again, so we're switching every single beat. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one. <laughs> Let me slow that right the way down and demonstrate how it's going to work and then I invite you to play along with me. Don't forget, if you're struggling with this, you can slow the video down in the settings by 50% and follow along that way. Um, but otherwise, enjoy. So, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E, and then switch. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one E and a, two a three E and a four E and a one half this time two now switch one E and two E switch one E and two E and one E and a two all of that again one E and two Again, a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one. And then I invite you to just keep repeating that whole thing over and over and over again. Now, once you've got the hang of that, you can change where you play that accent. Maybe you can uh, play around with harmony on each side of the handpan. One E and a two E and three E and a four E and a one E and a two E. Notice how I've always got those ghost notes going all the way through, no matter what happens. You can also do this um, with a split hand technique. teach you any specific techniques with that just yet <laughs> um, but yeah so many different variations that you can do with this and there are also other accent grids that you can play around with but more on that in another video 